We are getting Saido Berahino. I never used him in any of the FIFAs and hopefully he will be as good as you guys say he is. Hey, hey, assistant coach, how are you doing? It is me, Johnny Sports, and welcome to today's second video. This will be a Crystal Palace episode. In the last one, I asked you guys if I should get a scout with the 3 million I have at this point. Let's have a look at what the assistant coaches have been suggesting. 250 of you said, wait until the end of the transfer window and then buy the scout. So I will be doing that, but in order to do that, I need to sell some players. I'm just waiting to get some offers for these players. I would love to see Punchin or Dan leave the team because that would get us the most money out of all these transfers that we could make. But now guys, let's take a look at the first game of today's episode. It is a match against Everton in the FA Cup and we are playing away. And it is the first match from Saido Berahino playing in the starting lineup for our team. And he had a chance right away. He passed it over to his teammate Dwight Gale. But the defense was strong enough. But nice passing right here. Hoiback with the pass over to Bolasi. He is through. He could pass it over. He does so. And Dwight Gale scores the goal. 1-0 against Everton in the 13th minute. So you guys could see that I am in fact playing with Dwight Gale and Berahino in the striking position. Yusuf Paulsen is on the bench because his stamina was low. But right here another great pass to Dwight Gale. He's through. 1-1. One -on -one. He will Try to lob it over the goalkeeper, but that one just doesn't work out for him. Now Berahino with the pass onto the right hand side. Bolasi is pacing through. Dwight Gill passing it over to the new striker. Berahino scoring his first goal for Crystal Palace. What a start to his career. The both goal scorers celebrating the goal together. And Dwight Gill now on one assist and one goal. But we were not stopping. Another chance coming in right here with Wilfried Zaha, and we were destroyed. Destroying Everton in the first half already. This is probably the first time I'm playing this well against Everton. But they do have a chance as well. They do hit the post right here in the 51st minute. Bolasi to Williams. Williams over to Berahino. Berahino back to Williams. Williams now with the pass to Dwight Gill. And he was scored the fourth goal. 68th minute. 4-0 for Crystal Palace in the FA Cup. And what a game it is so far. Emre Can got injured right here. But he's still playing and we do concede a goal in the 88th minute. So the clean sheet is gone. But I was still very happy with the performance of my team. What a match this was. And what a debut for Saido Berahino. He's scoring his first goal for Crystal Palace. And I'm really happy with that. And since I do want to sell Scott Dan. I'm just looking forward to get a talent to replace him. So I'm trying to offer Dan in order to get Jamal Lassell from Newcastle right here. And I'm also looking forward to get Jason Denier into my team. I'm offering Dan once again. The reason why I want him in my team is that Engels is Belgian and Denier is Belgian as well. So I thought that would be a great partnership in our team. But it is now time to play against Manchester City. A really important match for us because we need to stick to the top four in order to get into the Champions League. And Manchester City is obviously a team that will be fighting for the top four. But we are starting off with Pausen. The Beast is back in the team. And his first chance will get cleared by Caballero. 44th minute, we are on a free kick with Hoiberg. He tries his luck against the goalkeeper but hits the side of the net. And now... In the second half, it was time to bring on Saido Berahino. He's now playing up front with Pausen for the first time. So let's see how this partnership will work out. 62nd minute. It's a chance for Manchester City. They do miss it though. Pausen now with the pace, passing it over into the middle. Berahino is through. He's one-on-one -on -one against the goalkeeper. But Caballero once again with great reflexes. And we have to make some changes in order to win this game. Williams and Emre Can joining in. Two midfielders to strengthen the core of our team. Now Paulsen trying to pass it over to the left hand side. Masuaku is through but he gets fouled in the penalty area. And it was this guy stepping up. Berahino grabbing the ball and telling his teammates, I am going to be taking this one. I will be the hero. He has 81 penalties. So I said, okay, you can take it. Paulsen only has 62 penalties. 
Berahino could score an immensely important goal right here and he does so! Berahino scoring the goal for Crystal Palace 1-0 in the 83rd minute and surely that had to be the win. He would become a legend right after this match. Two matches played for Crystal Palace and he has already scored two goals. And what a great performance that was from him in the first episode of him playing for Crystal Palace. I was really satisfied and we won that game 1-0. And right here you guys can see for how many centre-backs I offered Scott Dan. I actually tried to get Callum Chambers. I tried to get Dier from uh, or DA from uh, Spurs. I tried to get so many centre backs into my team in order to just get rid of Scott Dan. But the only offer that got accepted was for Jason Denier. And then I realized he's only getting 6k. So that means he's probably rated below 70. And I said, no, I won't take that one. So Denier, I'm sorry you have been denied. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, I was offering punch in for Frank Achampong, and that is an amazing player. He has played against me in the online career mode. It was in DJ99, his team, and the guy just destroyed everyone in the league. Everyone was scared of his left winger, and Achampong looks like an amazing player. So I will look forward to get him, or Guedes, or Vadillo. So I was offering once again for so many players in order to just get rid of Punchin. I think I made like 5 offers and this is one of them, Fahad Al Muvalat, a right midfield player, 21 years old, a lot of pace in him and I have never seen anyone buying him so I thought why not offer for him as well and then I remembered there was a 5 star skiller that I once played against in one of my series and it was this guy, Mohamed El Yunusi, the brother of the player from uh, Hoffenheim I think, he's a 5 star skiller so I thought why should we not be trying to get a second 5 star skiller into our team in the Capital One Cup I simulated this semi-final match once again because we had won the first one so I was pretty sure that we would win the second one against Novi City as well and now you can see the transfer offer for Achempong being rejected and also for the players of the likes of Guedes and of course for Almovalat. so no one really wanted to have uh, the guy that I offered which is Panchian so I had to improve my offer and I did so and the only one except it was Molde FK and they are the team of El Yunusi. So right now we have the opportunity to get El Yunusi or a Chempong. The reason for that is that I offered 1.2 million plus punch in in the end and I and they did accept it. So I really want to know which one of those talents you would like to see in our team. And the reason why I'm selling punch in is that he is 28 years old. He doesn't play in the team because there's no room for him. So I'd rather have a talent on my bench who can still grow and who I can sell on in the future. So I would like to get one of those two players into my team. Tell me in the comments down below which one I should get and why I should get them. There will also be a straw poll in the description below as always when you guys have to make a decision. You can vote on there but I will also look through the comments and if there is a really good reason why I should buy a certain player I will show that in the next video and El Yunusi like I said can play in the left midfield, right midfield and striking position and he's a striker so he would be an all-rounder but Achempong obviously has the pace to play in any position. He could get subbed into the game and he could just storm past the defense. But he can only play in the left midfield and left back position on his statistics. So I would really like to know if you guys would like to see Achempong in the team. Who is basically a Masuaku who is a lot more pacey. Or would you like to see El Yunusi in the team who is the 5 star skiller and who probably in the end would get a little bit more playing time because he's playing in the left midfield, right midfield and striking position. But still, don't forget Achempong is a pacey beast. So I would really like to know what you guys think. Tell me in the poll below and also in the comments down below. Take care assistant coaches, have a nice day and peace.